welcome back. Today we're going to make a resin clock using my resin mold, but I'm going to use this UV resin and tint it white for the numbers. Let's begin. I will start by adding some UV resin to my small mixing bowl, just a small amount, and then adding a few drops of the white tint. The pipette I will use to mix up my resin and I will add more tint as needed until I get my color that I want. I will add links to the products I am using in the description box below. Please subscribe to my channel and hit like. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. Now I'm using my pipette to grab some of the colored resin and I'm going to carefully put them in the cavities in the mold. I am not filling the cavities up completely. I am leaving a little space so that the resin has room to move and fill. I will go ahead and speed up the video for this step. Now that the cavities are full, I see a couple areas that need to get cleaned up. So I'm gonna grab a paper towel and just gently clean the resin to make sure it's in the cavities and not spilling over top. I need to clean up my space a little bit since I'm done with the UV resin and I'm going to slide over my UV light and place the mold under the light. I let the mold sit under the light for four minutes and I also placed the little bit of resin I had in this cup. I did this to test it to make sure four minutes was good and it is, it's hard. I am also going to double check my numbers by doing the tap test and it looks good. I can't wait to get started on the rest. Now it is time to mix my resin. I am using unicone resin and I have a little bit left. I am going to mix about four ounces total of resin. So I'll do two ounces of part A and two ounces of part B. I am going to put it in my silicone reusable cup. These cups are awesome and amazing because you can reuse them and they're easy to clean. Now it is time to stir my resin. I'll go ahead and speed up the video for this part, but I will make sure I am scraping the sides and the bottom of my cup to ensure the resin is thoroughly mixed. When I'm done mixing my resin, I'm going to place the resin on the candle warmer to warm the resin to help release any air bubbles that may have been created while I was mixing. To create my colors, I am going to use Color Art Primary Elements Pigments and I'm going to place a scoop of the color into my cup and then I'm going to fill it halfway with the resin. I am using the Laguna Azul, the Palazzo, and the Blissful Bordeaux colors. I love using the Color Art Pigments in my resin. The colors are rich and beautiful and I always love how they turn out. I am using approximate measurements for my scoop and for when I pour the resin into the cup. Before I do my gold leaf, I'm double checking the resin on the candle warmer. It is working great. I am going to add a few flakes of the gold flake into my cup. I'm trying to be careful because this gold leafing can get everywhere if I'm not careful. Okay, our resin looks good. It's nice and warm. The air bubbles have been minimized. So I'm going to fill each cup about halfway and then when I get to the gold leaf cup, I'm just going to put whatever's left into that cup. I'll go ahead and speed up the video for this next part. 
as I stir the gold leaf cup, I'm going to try to crush up those flakes. As I stir in the pigments in my resin cups, I'm going to scrape the sides of the cup, the bottom of the cup, to ensure all of the pigment powder is blended with the resin. Now it's finally time for the super fun part, the pouring of the colors. I don't have a specific pattern in mind. I just wanted to start with the gold flakes since the resin was clear and then add the colors around it. Using the Dixie cups makes it super easy to pour. Just pinch the top and it'll help guide the resin. You can also use your stir stick to drizzle the resin as needed in any specific areas that you wanted. Now I'm just topping off my resin and adding a little bit of color where I think it needs more color. With any leftover resin, I have a nice kitty cat mold. I'm just going to go ahead and fill it up so I'm not wasting any resin. Once my molds are full, I'm going to blast it with a little heat to make sure any air bubbles that are trapped underneath are released. It is always a good idea to double check your resin piece. Check for any dust or hairs that may have fallen in and just pull them out if you see anything. I always cover my pieces with a food tent. I love it because it's clear and I can see in and nothing can go in my resin when it's curing. Okay, now it's time to demold our resin pieces. I have let this sit about 12 hours and I'm going to start releasing them from the mold. Starting with my kitty cat, I'm just slowly pulling the mold away from the resin piece. It is still soft, but it's pliable and workable and hard enough to release. For the clock mold, I'm going to work all the way around just releasing the outer edge and then I'm going to slowly pull the mold from the resin so I don't tear the numbers. It is very important to always pull the mold from the resin piece to not tear your molds. Look how pretty this piece turned out. I love it. I love the gold and I love the soft blend of colors. What do you think? Let me know in the comment box below and like our, this video and subscribe to our page. Thank you for watching.